July 23rd, 2021. It is morning hours right now, minute after midnight. This is just to prove uh, you're going to hear from my father's mouth that my father, in fact, was in Russia. In fact, he was in Moscow, according to his own words, and in other locations, too. Uh, the audio recording was... I done this audio recording more than five months ago. On February the 1st of 2021. Now, let me demonstrate to you. This is uh, the Godzilla right here. This is... Um, I wouldn't put this on the internet. I, I had reasons. I had to see some other stuff. Uh, modified would be uh, not created, but modified because my telephones are the ones that are modified. Okay, so February the 1st, 2021, as you see. And it's an excerpt. It's an excerpt I will use from audio recording for you. Uh, have one translated like this. The Russian Sea. Have you ever, uh, father, have you ever been in Russia? Have you ever been? He says, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he gives me signs with his head. Where were you in Russia? Uh, he says, uh, in Moscow. And I say, you were in Russia only, nowhere else? He says, I was also on other locations. And I say, really? I said, tell about. Then he gives me a kind of an answer I wouldn't push in it, uh, in it anymore. He says, do you have to know everything? I, I think that's a little bit arrogant. Uh, I think it's really, really arrogant. Uh, because he should have made, I think both parents should have made things easy to me. Uh, much easier for me already in 2010 when I returned from Norway. I think it was a time to just come out with the truth about the whole thing. But they wouldn't do that. They rather followed uh, a strange pattern, a strange pattern of other people that did nothing but really ruin my life. Not that they were out there to hurt, but it destroyed me. Uh, one thing led into the worst. That's why I didn't pay really attention to I felt that it was not with a, such an arrogant answer that this thing did not fit on the internet. But that's why I didn't put one partial reason this is what it was. Uh, that's why I didn't put this on the internet more than, what is it, five months ago, as I said. And uh, there was some other stuff they engineered for my return from Poland so when they started with that kind of stuff I wanted to measure everything I wanted to see exactly where the whole thing is going and I can tell you that my father is actually even using diapers uh, if this information made happy Serena Williams uh, gets is practically half blind on one eye and the one other one his eyesight which was like a hawk before like this man had unbelievable eyesight he received in injections for one um, I think that his fall or whatever it was uh, I think they screw him up pretty pretty badly and I did explain the issues behind people like Dwayne Johnson uh, I explained the issues about Barack Obama about a whole bunch of politically correct people who just didn't want to see my father around anymore they brainwashed me on the MK Usher just basically prepared to see him no more he's got to go were instructions to me from Polish President Andrzej Duda, his beautiful wife, Agata, Agata Kornhauser Duda. Uh, before this case becomes, they said, recognized. 
Wow, I never heard about that kind of stuff. The governments, they can say, the rec they can maybe use the recognized, but for the main part, they talk to themselves. I'll kick your ass, boy. You have no idea who you are dealing with when it comes to recognize. Uh, I kick your ass, boy. The crime can only be admitted. Remember this, you screw, you screwed my police career in the US, you screwed my FBI, Central Intelligence Agency, the government careers I pursued, I passed examinations for, you screwed my life up. The crime can never be recognized, the crime is only can be confessed by the criminals, it can only be admitted. And in this case, I am too a police officer without the badge, but you are a bad boys, you are a bad guys. You did rape US Constitution and moreover you raped the post World War II treaties. You are at fault, you lied, and you follow up the initial lies of Mike Tyson from year 95 onward with other lies with numerous lies also in a real life. So, but since this is the situation, that's all I wanted to clarify about this stuff. And um, I'm gonna play you uh, original audio recording. So, for the skeptics to hear that my father actually was in Moscow and in other locations in Russia. I can tell you he was in Belarus and he was in Hungary and he was in Egypt and he was in Israel, he was in many different locations, my father. He got to travel, my mom too. Um, not as myself, I ended up literally inside of the jail in Moscow. Uh, in a place, in a location, in a hall where they staff, I assume, politically incorrect people and something I was promised it's going to be the case. Uh, treated me like a criminal, basically. On another occasion, on return from the Vladivostok, still in the Siberia, I ended up in a heh, concentration camp-like location for the probably mainly even political incorrect people. Uh, they refer to them as uh, criminals, but it must not be fun. I heard those dogs mean barking when we got off that train that early morning and we went for a walk uh, it was called boy and the Russian boys otherwise from Ukraine uh, they just got chilly impression about the place it was something evil about it. I was in many locations including Sahalin not too far from North Korea I did go to North Korea with the Russians first, then with Americans, uh, during times when America still even dreamed, but this is how Americans got into North Korea, dream about only something like this would have been possible. So I was on a lot of occasions in Russia, but really not for fun, drugged up, and uh, nothing really good I possibly could report about it, nothing fun, no fun really but thanks for watching this video i'm going to play this audio recording again for the skeptics as i stated july the 23rd 2021 it is and the audio recording goes five months back to february the 1st 2021 and remember the crime by the criminals can only be admitted confessed never recognized thanks for watching this video till next time Русское море. Если ты бил там у Руси, я бил. Если бил, если побил, где у Руси если бил? В Москве. Саму в Москве, не где на где. Тут да где если бил. Я по где. Это может что сюда это. Что, что правда и бил в Москве? Uh, 
father didn't want to answer, and I say that when I try to ask him more about, mom says, well, if he was in Moscow, he was in Moscow, basically. Mom also knows about all this stuff. Goodbye, I said to father, since he doesn't want to talk. And so where are you going? Here, one more time, I'm going to play to you in Slovenian language, that's all. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.